joy and overwhelming feeling that I'm not able to put into words. Or rather, that doesn't know how to what to say. It happens. But I do want to take a moment to just thank God for being here because I know if I'm here, it's not because I've done anything special. It's only by the grace of God. And your presence here means so much to me. Saturday, there's so, much, so many things that you have to do, so many errands, this and that. Yet again, you chose to share your time with me. So I bless this moment and I bless each one of you. And I will start with what I know best is to pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we just want to give you all the glory that only you deserve. I just want to thank you for who you are. Thank you because I know that my identity is in you. Thank you for loving me a way that I never felt loved before. Only you can love. Thank you for this unconditional love. Thank you for each and everyone here today. I pray and I know by grace they have received a special anointing and blessing. Thank you for this moment. In the name of Jesus we pray. Amen. Um, there are so many people that I need to thank. Because having a vision or hearing from, to know that there is something that you got to do and not really know how to do it. When I think about my life, I came here 18 years ago, not really learning, knowing how to speak the language. And yet now, I am an author. My journey started with some amazing women in my life. Of course, I'll call on my mother. She's the one who agreed to give me life. But there are some powerful women. For example, Mona Joseph. She's no longer here. But she was uh, my mentor, a prayer warrior, a woman of faith. If I'm here, it's because of her unselfish act of pouring blessing into my life. This book is an amazing story that never ends and hoping that you will hold on to faith because fear is real. Fear paralyzes many of us. I was afraid to do something or because of my accent or so many things that will hinder me from being who I am. And I'm a child of God. So all things are possible. As Paul said it so well, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. And that's where my strength comes from. But yet, I've been blessed with an amazing husband, a friend, a dear friend, he tolerates me so much. He knows some of my strength and weaknesses. My beautiful children, I call them gifts. I truly believe that children are gifts from above. And sometimes we tend to forget that. It doesn't matter how they come. It doesn't matter how the challenges that they are facing or you think that you are facing with them. They are here for a purpose. It is our job, actually, to guide them. Do, I, do we deserve them? No. But it's only grace. My brother, Jean-Alain Presumé, who has been a support, an amazing support, and yet God has blessed him with an amazing woman, Steph, Stephanie, who supported me, who said, Soraya, you're missing an A, you're missing an E. She was there, spending hours and hours. Why? It's only because of the grace of God she agreed to do that. She didn't have to. I have Maria Pina, she's not here, but I know she's doing the work as I'm talking right now. She poured hours of hours, you know, listening to my story and helped me with some grammar, you know, when language is not your first language, English is not your first language, is not easy. Um, she helped. And I'm thankful to a friend, Dr. Pilgrim, who's here today, who said, Soraya, you write? That's what I do, I edit. <laughs> and she just, Say, let's do this. She gave me her time. I mean, thank you so much. Thank you. Um, each one of you, somewhere or another, you have impacted my life. Maybe you don't know it, but you did. Coming here today means so much to me. Mrs. Laurent, Mr. Excellent, the boxer boxer, Annette, 
Guy just came from Haiti today and is here. This is, this is good stuff. Uh, to have the word out, it takes a lot. It takes um, dedication. Mark Lemdy, his crew, always, Soraya, I'm going to be there. There are so many things in the city going on today, but yet you chose to come here. I'm thankful to you, and you know that. Thank you so much. There are faces, there are so many names. Even though Mr. Moore retired 40, I think that's been 46 years teaching, he heard about the news, he said, Sarai, I got to be here. Thank you so much. I love you, dear. <laughs> <laughs> Angie, hours of babysitting sometimes when I have to write. Mrs. Caruso, Milen, thank you. Mrs. Jean Philippe, I don't know why God put you in my life. That whatever it is, in everything that I do, may His name be glorified. We are such a blessing, and I think sometimes I need to forget that. We are here for a purpose. And hopefully one day, we'll get the message that we can make a difference wherever we go. Obed, you have a crazy schedule. You work at night, yet again, you share your time with me. Thank you for the welcome of heart. Sierra, thank you so much. I know you have a little one, and I know what it is to have a boy <laughs> and running after them. <laughs> and you're here. Be blessed. And I know that child, that humble child, is also anointed. Denise, me siento Muchísimas gracias por todo. Quiero estar aquí. Yo sé que no es fácil, pero entendí que el trabajo que estoy haciendo no es mi trabajo. Es el Dios. Muchísimas gracias. Me siento muy tranquila. Obrigada otra vez, Sabina. Obrigada, María. Pina. So let's sign some book and get some money so we can help others in Haiti. <laughs> and as you know, guys, coming here, when you, when you bless me, you, you're blessing someone here in the U.S., you're blessing someone in Haiti who, like me in Haiti, who didn't know where to go, you know, they are so limited. Yet again, whatever we receive here, we pour some blessings to some people who live here, or wherever God's called us. Dominican Republic, UK, wherever it is, we have people around the world. Germany, um, Stephanie um, came from all over to bless me, from New York, from Cambridge, so many places, guys. I don't have the words, but I know some of you read the book. I forgive you, you didn't have the book yet, I understand, I can forgive you. So, if I were to say something to you, I was talking to Guy. Guy, Guy is one of, um, we didn't go to school at the same time, we went to be together, and we were talking about fear, and you said, sorry, why are you talking about fear? It's faith. So, can you share that with them? <laughs> can you come forward? Let's give him a hand. All the way from Haiti, and made it on time. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Allow me to congratulate you, oh, thank you for this work and for bringing all these beautiful folks here on a Saturday afternoon. Mm -hmm. After a long week, <laughs> Friday, everybody wants to rest, right? But you're here to support um, her uh, ideas. And I'm sure that uh, if you know Soraya a little bit, she is a fearless person. Mm -hmm. So when she woke up about fear, I didn't know what she was talking about. <laughs> I thought she would be talking about the power of faith, not the power of fear. But I'm here curious, like a, like a child. You know, children are the most beautiful minds that, that exist on earth. <laughs> and if we don't keep our minds like children's minds, we're not going to go anywhere. We have to remain curious. And so I am. Um, that I want to again congratulate for her accomplishment today and for many other things that she's doing. He's from a country, and I just came back from Haiti, where I thought fear would paralyze 
everyone. Yet, I see a lot of creativity in Haiti, a lot of paintings in Haiti. People are struggling, people are working early in the morning, people are fighting. Nobody is letting fear paralyze them. Because, you know, fear is either flight or fight, right? Mm -hmm. It's about those two things. And there, is, there are many dimensions, there are many ways, because we suffer so much on earth, we have to have a lot of ways to uh, heal ourselves. And it seems that faith can absolutely be one of them. Uh, what I'm reading right now is about meditation, how we can um, feel better about who we are if we simply know how to breathe, if we simply know how to, to sleep properly, if we simply know how to let go, and so on and so forth. Those are beautiful things to set up. And I'm curious to know what is in this book here about fear coming from a very fearless woman. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you, the course of the day, so oftentimes I weigh heavy. And yet I must say, at the moment of God, it has so much lightness to it. Mm -hmm. And when that lightness comes to me, like a theophany, and it fills me with it briefly. I realize what the illusion of fear really is, and how the presence of God is everything. If people can just attune themselves to a mysterious presence, whether they have faith or they don't have faith, just the presence has its own kind of being that is sufficient oftentimes to bring you to a deeper realization of the reality that it's not just a concept, it's something very personal. And that itself may be a gateway to a deeper faith in a God who loves us lightly and mercifully and holds us to his very bosom. Thank you so much. I really, I know you guys want to read that book. Milan, I know you don't want to talk, but just say something to me. What did you get? What is the first thing that came to you when you read the book? Um, let me applaud you. Aww! Let's applaud her. And also, when I, when you first mentioned you were... I know you don't feel, listen, you don't hear. That's all that matters. Don't worry, we don't see that. We just hear your heart. Okay. That's what we're going to have to speak before. Um, so Ryder and I are very close, and she's been an inspiration to us and to myself. Um, I did not want to be late today, and I had to go back Don't worry, to what did you get from the book? Come on. So, from the book, yes. as soon as I touched the book with you, my daughter and I have been going through some tough times about her faith and about fear that she's encountering as a as a student mm -hmm. and also an athlete mm -hmm. and she's at Brown University and she always says mom I'm always afraid I always have fear I'm doubting my faith mm -hmm. so when I read Soraya's book about the power of fear I, as soon as I started reading and I said this is a book for my daughter she needs to be inspired to know that in life, you will have obstacles, you will face fear, but you need to have strength in your faith, and which is what you have done for my daughter as a, as a student. And I said to her, you need to spread the word about this book and put it in the schools. And that was the first thing we said. It has to go in the schools so that other students, athletes, can be inspired. And that's what you have done. So we are spreading your words and your book in this book. So God bless you and you. continue to do that. Thank okay. you so much. Paula. Oh, no. <laughs> Paula is at the back. As soon as I told I talked to Paula about me coming in and uh, I know you don't want to be on TV, 
Paula. I know you want to be behind closed door, like Amina. But please, Amina, give me two seconds. Paula, give me two seconds. So now you have company, it could be easier for you. <laughs> Dr. Bill Graham is. Paula cannot spread the word, and she's a viral member of the Brockton Public Library. And please, oh, I'm just so happy to have you here. When I met you today, I can see why you have this following. You're alive and excited, and it's a pleasure to have you here. And I hope the library has an the book to get a copy before you leave. Also, and I really want to read the words of wisdom. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's not true. She doesn't like it. Stay right. Amelia. Well, my sister, thank you um, for the honor of having a small part in this um, moment. And um, there's a lot of things that I want to say. Um, congratulations. Thank you. Of course. <laughs> and, um, I loved what um, our colleague said mm -hmm. about the light um, that God provides. And I can truly say that from the moment I met you, you know this, your light just shines without question. And I'm sure that everyone in this room that knows that Sarayo would agree with that. So um, when I first met you, I, I had to meet you. <laughs> I, I, saw her, I saw her at the school where she is, and I said, I have to meet you. I'm so glad that I did that. And just like the light of God um, radiates from you, um, your purpose radiates through the book. And as a sister in the faith, um, Christian as well, um, I have struggles um, in those moments where fear gripped me. And as I told you, your book helped me it helped increase my faith. Mm -hmm. One of the things that I love about this book is that it's almost a catalog of the scriptures that directly address the issue of fear. So even if you feel that you might be strong in your knowledge of the word, um, the book just complements that. And so I think that you'll get a lot out of it for that reason. And then I think it's very practical for the moment that we're in. Mm -hmm. um, where so many of us have fear for reasons related to politics, related to school, related to parenting, related to so many things. Mm -hmm. You know, you basically covered each one. Sure. one, one. <laughs> and I can't wait to see what's next. But God definitely mm -hmm. used you mm -hmm. in this project to bless me, and I know to bless so many people. So I love you, and I love the book. <laughs> Thank you so much. Brother, gotta come on, you know it. Gotta come. He drove all the way to New York. This morning he called and he said to me, Hey, uh, Soraya, good luck with everything. <laughs> I'm like, um, I'm not gonna ask the question that you think that I want you to ask, but I understand, you know, I have a little child, you know, why, you know, there's so much to do, gotta work. Boom, two o'clock. <laughs> ah! ah! I just love you. Sing. Um, I remember growing up, <laughs> oh my God. Soraya had prophesied that she will be a doctor. This is the first time that I am saying that to her. She might not even remember, but she had said, Je serai une professeur de lettres. I don't know if that breaks a little bit of um, memory back, but that was like, we, we were very, very, very young. And as I was driving here, I thought of it, and I realized how God has been able to help her fight all of, all of her fears. We deal with fears every day, and uh, at times, we do not realize how fear cripples us the power that he has over all of the facets of, of uh, our life. 
those are things that we see, we deal with every day. And in this book, we are looking forward to the, all of the help, all of the, the support, guidance. support guidance that you bring us. As always, I am the little brother. I yes, will always sure. need my big sister's guidance. And she has been doing that. And um, we are looking forward. Excelsior. All right, good luck. Mr. Excella, Mrs. Amlorette, I know you, you don't want to be here, you are afraid of camera. I saw some of my students walked in. I just want to say thank you to you. Hey, oh my God. Mrs. Lorette, just two seconds. The camera, Mark, I'm not going to be here for long. Come on, just say whatever put God put in your, in your mouth. Yeah, of course you're going to be talking. You think you're going to be sitting here? No, it, it doesn't work like that with me. You know better. You should know better than that. <laughs> I didn't come for that, <laughs> but I'm knowing her, you know, she's always uh, dragging me. So today it's for a good cause. So I have it's to tell you. It's always a good cause. I have to tell you how proud I am of you. All the things that you did, even uh, out of the school system, in my life, uh, in my children's life. Thank you. Thank you for being you. Love you. My brother always say, to you. Oh, so this one, I, I have to talk. She needs to say something. You see, I struggled a lot to find the name because it was almost 3 o'clock. And I'm like, I feel like I need to let her know about this. This is good stuff. You know, in the school, you got, you know, nobody talk about faith. It's kind of hard to talk about it. But then again, we need to get to move forward. And, Miss D. <laughs> She's going to tell you how she received the word and she is. Well, I work at school with Soraya and she's such a lovely person and she just invited me yesterday. I'm intrigued and I just see her as such a blessing to our students. She's such a strong woman and such a wonderful role model for our students that we're very blessed to have you. Thank and you. I'm so glad that you invited me and I'm intrigued and I feel like this is the beginning of a wonderful friendship. Oh. <laughs> People usually say that work, God works in mysterious ways, and I say that it's because we're not in tune to what he's saying. Because if we just stay for a moment and listen, we'll hear that he's always there. It's always moving. Just looking at you, looking at me right now, Mark, you know that he's doing something. Sometimes we're afraid to receive it. What I want to ask you guys is to be open. Be open and receive what he has for you, because as Jeremiah 29 said, I know the plan that I have for you. I plan to give you hope in the future. It is about time for us to hold on to that future. Thank you again, I will never thank you enough. Um, Pastor Lord is here. I know you want him to be there. Of course, I'll say hello to you. Each one of you, Denise, Mr. Excellent, Jean Claude, all each one of you made an impact in my life. And I just want to thank you. Like I said, it's time for me to just have a seat right there, unless you have any questions for me. But the Sarai that you see here was crippled with fear, but God has given me wings to fly. And I believe when he put me on the edge, two things can happen. Either he give me wings to fly, or he's gonna hold me tight so that I'm not hurt. So thank you so all, oh, you're yelling, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Natasha, I know you had to work and you just came out of work and you said you got to be here. May you receive whatever it is in your presence today. Sir, I don't know the name yet. Edzel. Who's that? Edzel. Oh, Edzel. Oh, he's going to say something. Oh, no. You guys come on. You see, the world is right here. So I hope when you leave here, be a blessing to the person next to you. Say your name, exchange number. You never know. Something amazing would happen. Mark, I know you're usually behind the camera and look at what's going on and I'm waiting for Asian Flag Day. Today's not Asian Flag Day. I want you to be oh. here. <laughs> so when Soraya first came 
to PCA mm -hmm. to do her show that's been on for a while. Oh well, yes, yeah, the, the zone. Years, and the zone. So, the zone. so many things happening. I knew she was an amazing person, and I knew she was someone that you could care about the other people. And to write a book, I've always wanted to write a book. Oh, you've been saying that. Come on, stop writing. Stop writing. I like to write about my father. <laughs> Past a year ago. Yes, we talked about that. Um, but you help others. I, I watch you with the kids at the Haitian Flag Day. And that's one of my favorite events in Rock. Mm -hmm. I don't care if my head gets burned to a crisp or anything else. It's just the children, the mm -hmm. children of the future. Okay? Mine are all grown up. Um, when I was a kid, I worked here. First job. You mentioned that. And I love the library, so I'm so glad you're here. Um, big time? Big time. Big time. That's what he does. He does big. Oprah's going to pick it for our book club. That's all, all I right. have. Oh! Okay. Of course. Thank you so much. Thank you. And your crew. I don't know how they do it. Thank you. All right. I think, uh, like I said, Nobody lives here without having a phone number, a different phone number, and be a blessing to the person next to them. You have to. The moment that we have, it's unique, it's special. We need to hold on to them. Thank you so much. She was just typing, doing her work, and I said, hey, there's an event going on. She's like, oh, I'm coming. Thank you so much. And your name? Alicia. Alicia. Mm, Alicia. That's how she says it. So thank you so much for being here. Nadege, thank you so much. I got a blank on your name. I don't know why. It's from one of my students. Rafaela. Rafaela. Thank you so much. So I hope I didn't miss on anyone. Like I said, you see Anna, my beautiful sister, was here. She's ready to write your name. Give you one, two, eight. You get a book, you give you get a book for someone else. Is that clear? One, two, or three. December is coming up pretty soon. So you're gonna to need to buy some, some gifts, right? So do it here. And I'll be sitting right there. Oh my god, look at my table. Those are blessing. Real flower, beautiful flower. But i I need to say that to say this while um, you guys are here. I was broken. I was not all together the way, you know, I'm talking about a husband, I have children. No, it wasn't like this for me. So I don't know who's watching TV, right, the TV, television right now, who's going through something. I want you to remember the key word that I say, through. You're going through it. So the moment is not permanent. I want you to understand that moment that you're going through is not permanent and it is temporary. Sooner or later, you'll break through. So please remember that. We hold on to faith when there's nothing else, no one no one believe, or no one want to do anything, just believe and hold on to faith. Because amazing things, God has poured a blessing and anointing upon you. So be a blessing to others. I chose to be a blessing to others. And one of my professors here, oh my God. After 2000, I graduated in 2006, it's been 12 years. This is how God works, guys. My professor, Lee Staple, is here from Boston University. Lee, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I know, he's the shy person I am. Oh! Thank you so much. This is Lee Staple. Oh my God. I am overwhelmed with joy right now, guys. There are no words. I don't have the words to say thank you enough. Simone, thank you so much. I need to just sit down. If, if you guys have questions for me, I'm here to answer them. Not that I have the answers, but I can try. Thank you again.